I'm Coyote Peterson. With beauty often comes danger, and we tend to forget that in the wilderness, we are no longer at the top of the food chain. There's no wilderness greater than the backcountry of Montana, an epic expanse of untamed beauty that is home to some of North America's most incredible animals. Every year, thousands of adventurous hikers set off down rugged mountain trails, escaping the confines of everyday life and immersing themselves into the wild. Being lost in nature, we all hope to catch a glimpse of something beautiful, a chance encounter, and an experience that will never be forgotten. The scenario we just painted for you is a common instance that can happen when hiking out here in the backcountry of Montana. What you're actually looking at here is Adam. Now Adam was raised in captivity and he's a bear that's used for educational purposes and as an ambassador for his species to teach you guys what to do and not do if you ever encounter one of these beautiful animals in the wild. So scenario number one and best case for you is that you stumble upon a grizzly bear and it doesn't see you. Stop, stay quiet, back up slowly and get yourself moving in another direction. Now the second scenario you could find yourself in, you turn a corner and all of a sudden, it's you and a grizzly bear. You see the bear and the bear sees you. Now this is the most dangerous situation that you can be in. Uh, grizzlies don't typically want anything to do with humans. What you wanna do is make yourself look as big as possible. If that bear feels threatened, it should turn around and walk back up into the forest. Once you know that the bear is out of eyesight, you huff it to your car or wherever it was that you came from and get yourself to safety. Now the third and the worst case scenario is what happens if that bear advances. You are never, I repeat, never going to outrun a grizzly bear, so don't even try. A lot of people think, hey, I've got on my hiking pack, well, let me get off my pack throw it to the bear and try to distract it so that you can get away. This pack on your back, this is your barrier between the bear's teeth and its claws. What you want to do is drop to the ground and get in the fetal position as quickly as possible. Get down here like this, tuck in, press your arms against your legs, and most importantly, get your hands behind your neck. Now, grizzly bears don't typically eat people. What they see us as is a threat to their territory. As soon as that bear feels that the threat is eliminated, it will probably just disappear back up into the wild. Now you might take a couple bites, you might take a couple swipes. But using this tactic increases your chances of survival by about 90%. Look at that set of teeth. I just gave you three great tactics for surviving a bear encounter, but there is one other thing that could save your life, bear spray. Don't ever head off into the back country without it. If you have a bear encounter and you've got time to get this off your hip and spray it, these bears have incredibly sensitive noses. There's a good chance that bear is gonna head off in the other direction and you're gonna escape the encounter unscathed. And that was intense. <laughs> <laughs> getting swatted at by a grizzly bear. Um, okay, so now we wanna get you guys up close with some of Adam's incredible features. Grizzlies are opportunistic omnivores, meaning that they'll eat anything that they come across from grasses like you see them chomping on here all the way up through moose. Now, bears use their noses to follow their prey. They can find dead animals, they can find berries, they can find just about anything. And oftentimes what grizzlies will do is follow a wolf pack to where they have killed a moose or a caribou, and they'll actually be able to scare those wolves away, and then they've got their meal. That's the opportunistic that I'm talking about. All he needs to use is his size and mass to drive anything off of a kill. One feature about this bear that is incredibly impressive is those front paws, absolutely enormous. And at the ends, armed with five massive claws that average about three and a half to four inches in length. A single swipe from that paw can take down a deer. And one thing beyond those claws that's impressive are those teeth. A bite force of a grizzly bear is about 1,100 pounds per square inch. That's enough to crush a bowling ball. You don't want to be within the grasp of a grizzly bear. The grizzlies also have incredible hearing, and that's why you don't often see bears in the wild, because they can hear you coming from miles away. Now, the grizzly is the largest brown bear species that we have here in the United States. And at one point in time, their territory ranged from central all the way through the western United States. Unfortunately, as humans encroach upon their territory, they've been pushed to near extinction here in the lower 48. Only 800 grizzlies still live here in Montana and about 600 in Wyoming, all of whom live in Yellowstone National Park. Completely awe-inspiring to be in the presence of a bear the size of Adam. And the scenario that I showed you guys today is something that hopefully you never find yourselves in, but I hope that you learned a little something in case you ever find yourself in that worst case scenario. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure.
If you thought that was one wild adventure, check out these other animal encounters. And don't forget, subscribe to follow me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. This episode of Breaking Trail was brought to you by the Buy Power Card from Capital One. Every purchase brings you closer to a new Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, or Cadillac vehicle.